My word, it's Mr Omar here again and I'm here to talk to you through the last part of your persuasive text, um, which is something you're creating and learning to read. So, we've already talked about the introduction, we've already talked about the conclusion and we're very close to the end, which means, sorry, we've talked about the body paragraphs and we're very close to the end, which is where we talk about the conclusion. The conclusion is just to wrap up, to summarise what it is that you've talked about and to call people to action. So, let's have a look at what this is. Restate contention. What do you want your audience to believe? How do you want them to be different than before they read or heard your text? So, tell them what to believe. Go through your three main points. You don't have to give the evidence again, just what are the three things that would lead you to believe that first thing. Come back, tell people what you want them to believe and ask them to do something different. Here's an example for our hypothetical uh, persuasive text. As you've seen, the Supernova 6 is amazing. So that is my contention. And it's basically a slightly sideways way of saying you should buy one of these, which is really my contention. My first point is that the screen is clear. The second point is that the battery is good. And the third point is that it's got lots and lots of apps. I then come back to the call to action. So will this be cash or card? Basically saying, you know what, you need to buy this. It can be as simple as that. So again, your introduction is not just a general wrapping up. It's actually got a clear structure. Tell people what you want them to believe. Tell them the, your three main points and you can run them together into, these are separate sentences, but you could run them together with ands or, you know, therefore and so forth. You can put conjunctions in there and then tell your audience what you want them to think or do. And your year seven persuasive piece is done. So... I'll leave you with that. If you've got any questions, please see myself or any of the other teachers because we'd love to help you make this a fantastic pace.